Hi guys, it's Inam Kafour here with the Samsung Galaxy S4 and we're going to show you how you can set your own custom music mp3 track as your default notification. Normally Samsung don't allow you to add your own but if we go to menu, settings and then my device and then sounds, just show you what they do actually have at the moment. Go to default notification sound and you can see these are pre-populated, you can't add your own though. These are the standard sort of ones. I'd normally have mine set to whistle and we'll just leave it there. Come out of that a second. I'm going to send a text message from my secondary device just to make sure that whistle is set. There we go. So that's working fine when the text message comes in. But I'm going to show you how you can set your own custom music MP3 track as a default notification. So what you need to do is go to apps. From your app store, go to the standard file browser that comes on the Galaxy S4 with that yellow icon called My Files. Tap on that. Go to All Files, then Device Storage, then there should be a folder in here called Notifications. If you don't have the Notifications folder here, just create it by going to Menu, Create Folder, and call it exactly that, Notifications. I've already got it, so I'm going to tap into it. And essentially any music track that you put within this folder will appear as a default notification under that list that we just saw there, and then you can select it as a notification tone. So we just need to copy a music track here. And what we'll do is we'll go back to my SD card because I've got some music on there. Uh, we're going to music. And I'm going to copy across that top track there by Daft Punk called Get Lucky featuring Pharrell. So select it, hit the menu in the top right, go copy, and then we'll move it to the notifications folder. Here we go, paste here. It's done pretty quickly. And we'll come out of this. Now we'll go to menu, settings, again my device, then sound, and then default notification sound and it's currently still set to whistle so if we scroll to the top it should be just under the G's there we go get lucky radio edit so if we just select that and just make sure it's a correct one until the lyrics start playing there we go just wanted to make sure so there we go that's set as my current default notification now so if I send a text message from my secondary device again it should start playing there we go now it will play the entire mp3 track so I just bought the notifications area down there just to stop it. And that's how easily you can set your own custom music mp3 track as a default notification and use it for text messages, Twitter, Facebook alerts or anything else regarding notifications. Any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe, it's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching, have an awesome day and we'll see you next time.